Hi, my name is Doug Goldstein. I'm coming to you not today as a computer expert, but rather as a active user of technology for my business. I run an investment company and I write books. So today I'd like to talk to you about how to use reminders on your iPhone to dramatically increase your effectiveness and time management. I became very interested in this when I was packing for a business trip and I said, let me see how this thing works. And I figured, what the heck, let me show other people as well. So here we go. Today what we're going to cover are the great things you can do with reminders. We'll talk about how to set up a new reminder list, how to add and remove a new reminder, how you can use Siri to be super efficient with your lists. We're going to talk about how to use location-based reminders and how to maximize your reminders by syncing with Outlook. There's basically the strategy and tactics of everything that you have to do to be successful. In fact, strategy and tactics are topics that I talk about a lot in the investment field when I work with clients. And in fact, my new book with world chess champion Susan Polgar is specifically about how strategies from chess can be applied to investing as well as the tactics. So I'd like to take 46 seconds now to show you about that book because I'm pretty proud of it. If you're not at all interested in personal finance, so just fast forward 46 seconds and then we'll get right to the topics about how to use reminders. Did you know that successful investors make money using the same strategies that chess players use to become world champions? Learn the secrets that chess grandmaster Susan Polgar and certified financial planner Douglas Goldstein have discovered about how you can build your wealth the strategic way. Buy Rich as a King to prepare your financial future. Learn how to make tactical decisions about stocks, bonds, mutual funds, insurance, retirement planning, and more. Rich as a King is the only book that teaches how the wisdom of chess can make you a grand master of investing and financial planning. Richasaking.com Okay, let's get started learning how to use reminders on your iPhone to dramatically increase your effectiveness and time management. So the first thing you're looking at here is a screenshot. The way you get started is you simply click on the Reminders app and off you go. Then you need to name your list. You create a new list on the top. You click the plus sign. So in this case, let's do uh, let's decide whether we're going to save it in Exchange or in iCloud. You probably have an iCloud account, which you set up when you got your phone. If you have synchronized your phone to Exchange, then you could save it there, and whatever you do on your phone will appear in your Outlook. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later. So choose one or the other. Title your list. In this case, I made a list called Teach Reminders to have me teach you about how to use reminders on the iPhone. And uh, you can choose the color. You can choose whatever color you like. Then you make your list. Here, create an outline I wrote, research other articles, take screenshots, record video. I added all of these things on just as a sample so I'd know what to do. The next thing you see is if you want to make any changes, you can click on the Edit button. And from that edit, at this point on the left side, you can see there are those red circles which you could use to delete. And on the right side are those little, the three lines, and you can grab one of them if you just push it with your finger, slide up and down if you want to change the order of the list, which can be very, very important. On the bottom, you can see there are those, those few lines. If you click on those, it'll bring you back to the home page of all of your lists. It's nice to have them in different colors. It just makes one stand out, I think, a little bit better uh, than the next. Okay, so let's go to the packing list. This is how I got started. I wanted to have an easy way to remember what to bring. And let's say that you've written a few things down and you want to add something new. So if you just click on the last one there was deodorant and then click enter and you'll get a new line where you can type the next thing you want to bring. Perhaps you want to remember to bring your sweater. There's also a cooler way, however, if you want to put things onto the list, and that super cool way is to use Siri, and I really like to use this all the time. You can say something to Siri like, add sweater to my packing list. And then you can see, she says, okay, I can add this to your packing list, and you can just confirm that. I think that's a great tool, and it's obviously very convenient instead of having to open reminders, and uh, although I like typing, I much more prefer using Siri. And she tells you that she's added it, and you're ready to roll. The other thing that Siri can do is you can have her do a location-based reminder. You can say to Siri, remind me to pack my iPad when I get home. 
And then when you get home, the alarm will pop up and it will remind you to pack your iPad. I mentioned earlier about synchronizing with Outlook. It's really great if you do that because if you're sitting in your office, for example, you just open your Outlook and you can click on the tasks. You can see usually on the left side of Outlook, depending what version you're using, you can choose between mail, calendar, contacts, tasks. Reminders synchronize with tasks in Outlook. And you can add and subtract things and cross them out. And you can see how I've done that on this slide over here in my packing list. And of course, each of your lists will show up. And if you have a company, you might also, you can share lists with other people so people can add and subtract. You have it both on your desktop as well as in the office. And that's it. That is how you use reminders very, very effectively in on your iPhone. And it certainly saves a lot of time. As Abraham Lincoln said, if I had eight hours to cut down a tree, I would spend seven hours sharpening my saw and one hour cutting. And I think that applies here. Spend a little more time thinking in advance, developing the strategy for whatever project you're working on, whether it's packing to go away on a vacation or to put together a, uh, a video to share people to teach them how to do things. Everything should be thought about first. That's the big strategy. And the tactics that we've gone over today are how to use the Reminders app in on your iPhone. I hope this was helpful. I hope you like strategies and tactics. And please take a look at the book about using strategies and tactics from chess in order to improve your financial situation at www.richasaking.com.